Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you my mini morning routine. I'm going to get some Hausa cocoa. That's what I drink or eat, drink almost every day. <laughs> and I have my little, little container here that I take with me. So this is the container that they put the Hausa cocoa in. And as you can see, she covers it up nice so that there's no flies or anything getting in the food. Mommy, Pacho, me to house a cocoa. Okay, so I have my bucket that I bring with me here, and she's gonna fill it up to the level that I want. Okay, my name is So she scoops up the cocoa. Yeah. Okay. Fa fa to fa baku kan. Yeah. So this can be eaten with both fruits or I'm mm -hmm. okay. just gonna put it here. Okay, so she has the ingredients here for us. Wow. Okay. You see, this is what they use to make the house of cocoa. And these ladies are here literally every single day. Masoro, <laughs> Now, tankwa, is that pepper? Yeah, it's the dry one. Okay. Yeah, it's a fresh one. It's a fresh one. Oh. So, this is the millet. This is the millet that they use to prepare. Millet is really rich in nutrients, guys. Really, really rich in nutrients. I'm going to list the benefits on the screen. And honestly, I drink this almost every day. Water, mudigunsu. Okay, mudigunsu. They put it in water before they um, drain it the next day, and then they put the rest of the ingredients in. Okay. This is something that I eat every single day, so I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm here with my beautiful mom. She is from the northern region, and they make house of cocoa like every day. Anytime, uh -huh. morning, afternoon, evening. What okay. yeah. I love them so much. And that's her mom. Um, and she's getting older and she's still strong. Every day they're out here 
She helps her cook the um, house of cocoa every single morning. Time being, I'm sorry. They wake up at 4 a.m. every single day, even on Sundays. Sunday Biao Moha. Sunday Biao Moha. Every day they come out here to sell cocoa, both fruits, um, and they bring all of their Kose. Yeah, Kose. Kose is very good too. Oh, say Kose. All the Kose is finished. I can't even show you guys because everybody loves Kose. You know, you eat it with the um, house of cocoa. It's very good. So next time I'll wake up early. Next time, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll wake up early. Not my uh -huh. Yes. Next time I'll come early and show the process of how they make it. And yeah, just say seven. Look, I I don't be waking up that early. It's too early. It's too early, man. My dad. They really hustle and I appreciate it. I respect it. I, I, I admire it and it inspires me to also go hard because um, even if they're not getting that much, right, they still come out, you know, so, yeah. All right, guys, I think we have a, a Kube seller over here. Yeah, 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 So we have... Fresh coconut here. I saw him passing by. So this is very fresh. You can drink it in the morning. Because you can it in the So I'm done. I got my, I got my house of cocoa here. I got my little coconut. I'm gonna take home, and I can't wait to get home and drink this fresh cocoa. And next time I wake up earlier, so I can actually show you the full morning routine. Tema and I am at this restaurant slash pub where they sell banku and different local dishes and I am here um, for the first time this place is called feel at home and it is in community 10 so I'm going inside to check it out for the first time Right, so this here is Feel at Home Restaurant and Pub. It is Saturday, so it is full of people. It's predominantly known for Banku and Tilapia. And it looks like they also sell other fresh local dishes. So let's go check it out. I'm done eating my Benku and tilapia. It was so good. Feel at home. If you're in Tema, it's called Feel at Home. You gotta come check out this place. And now I'm still a little hungry, so I wanna see if I can find a little snack location here in Tema. So we're heading to the next location. Oh, Jamaica said, this is my only sister in Africa. This is Ghana. Yeah. Your friend is saying. Oh, Auntie Mbache <laughs> <laughs> So, this is Ghana, and right. Africa, Tema, from six brands and ten. This is Location Bar. Okay. Yeah. We are, I'm organizer, and this is Club and Location. Okay, okay. And the Mouton, Adriane Bay, and Mouton. What food do you sell? We sell pizza, chips, yam chips, okay. chicken, wings, and fried rice, jello. Mm. 
and tilapia and banku with pepper mm. and onion and what do you call it all sauces and, 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 and vegetables, and vegetables, vegetables yeah, yeah. okay okay we gotta check this place out next time what is it called location it's called location, location the and the location is community 10 in Tema. and yeah next time i'll come check your place and out. my I, i'm a organizer my shop is you're a what organizer I do cat die. A organizer, like boga, boga. No. If your tie get flat. Organizer. Yes. Your tie get flat. Okay. I have to repair it for your tie. Your oh, okay. So they can move you. Okay. okay. So it's called what? Location. No, your your your. My shop. Your organizer. Yeah, I'm organizer. Okay, I've never heard that before. No. So. Organizer mean a serpella tie. Nice. One of your ties work. Okay. So when your tie go flat, you cannot move. Okay. I have to come remove it, okay. see, okay. and do and pop it, and put it back. So if I don't ask my name. Oh. My friend, my brother, what's your name? My name is Denjima. <laughs> yeah. And I will treat in, will treat in the coffee. Coffee, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anti okay. Okay. Anti okay. Yes. And I work from Black Coffee. Black Coffee, yeah. okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. you. Bye. <laughs> Dylan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is my friend Dylan. He lives in Tema. Very, very. Hey, say it again. Say. Tema is the best city in hey. Ghana. <laughs> he said Tema is the best. Tema is the best city in Ghana. Honestly, Tema is a very peaceful town. I love this city. Whenever I'm here, I wish I had a land here, a land property here. I wish. I did. So Tema was built yeah. by Kwame Nkrumah, mainly because of the industrial areas and the ports. So it was supposed to be an industrial area, residential area, um, what else? Like an all-inclusive city where you can just stay here, work, get back home, have leisure and everything without going anywhere else. So, yeah. So Kwame Nkrumah, he basically built this city and the port is here. Anything that comes into Ghana, it has to come here first. I like to walk, but I just don't like walking in Ghana because whenever these people tell you, oh yeah, it's just down the road. It's just down the road. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's it's right here. It's just on the on the on the behind this building. By the time you get there, you already done walked about two miles you don't walked about two miles before you get to your destination and that's what dylan is doing to me right now today look at him he's ready to, he's just ready to walk he's just ghanians are just always ready to walk How are you? dylan what'd you say it was you see it's just right here right here it's just right here then by the time we get to this place it's gonna be dark, we're gonna lose all the sunlight, all the daytime is gonna be gone. I wanna know why do they spell pediatrics like this in Ghana? Somebody let me know in the comment section, please. Hey guys, so I'm out here at Community 4. This is Community 4 basketball court where a lot of the boys come out here to play ball. It's a Saturday, today's a Saturday and I've never been here before. And um, one thing I love about Tema is influential people, people who are, you know, Tema natives, they come back to their hometown. They come back to their hometown. You can see them coming through playing basketball with the neighborhood boys. You know, there's no division. There's no, you know, 
status check. Everybody's just out here having a good time. And that's what I love about Tema. You know, anyone who comes out of Tema, they make sure they come back home. They always remember where they came from and they're very, very proud to come back home and, and they give back to the community. And giving back to your community, it's not about money. It's not about, you know, donations. Giving back to the community can be something like just coming out here playing basketball with the boys. Playing basketball, playing football, soccer. You know, it, it shows that, you know, you, you value your community and you don't look at them as less than or what have you, right? Because these boys need something to look up to. Any boy, you know, needs something to look up, someone to look up to. So when they see that, wow, this person, they came from the same town that I came from, you know, and they made it in life or they, they're doing something that I want to do. I think that it's important for us to highlight that, you know, when you look at certain communities that have a strong, you know, everybody always talks about Tema Pride, the pride, you know. Yeah, they have pride because a lot of good people come from Tema and I think that um, it shows. Yeah, I think that it shows. And so I just love that. That's what it's about, you know, just coming together, that good old, that good old black community love. We came to get some frozen yogurt. I've been craving for a snack all day. And we found this frozen yogurt spot here in Tema. And so I have to go check it out. All right, guys, we're ending it here for today. I've had so much fun today in Tema. Right now, I'm calling it a night. Stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button on my video as well. See you guys later. Tell us. He could have just left and <laughs> let me get my content because it would have been great if i was holding the door for him and he walked through this dude just stood there like this and smiled and then <laughs> oh, <she's shy. laughs> oh my god turn up for the night the night real thing she's no average girl too fine oh she might she's so yeah. damn fine i just want to call on